Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where I delve into the world of daytime television, and I do a few reality shows on the side. And one of those... Oh no, today I'm not doing a reality show. Today I'm doing Days of Our Lives, which is a soap opera, <laughs> daytime television. Um, but I... Today, just before we get into Days of Our Lives real quick, I didn't do it yesterday because I, I literally worked eight hours and then I drove straight to here, Glendale, because um, I had some soap opera events today and they're mo mostly general hospital, so I'll be talking about them either tomorrow or on Monday, but it is fucking hot. It is really hot in here. It's just, it's just my room. My room is really super hot, so I'm already glistening and glowing already. Okay, so, but today was really fun. It was a lot of fun, and it was a lot really early in the day, but it was good. It was really good. It was great. Okay, I'll talk about that more when I do the general hospital recaps, but today we're talking about days of our lives. Although there is, you know, the thing about daytime television that I love so much, and I, you really need to embrace if you're on the show, any show, is that you're all part of one big family. Like, I know that every show has their own individual families, like General Hospital has a family, Days of Our Lives has a family, Bold and the Beautiful has a family, Young and the Restless has a family. And then there are, you know, like some, like for example, there's a family between Bold and Beautiful and Young and the Restless because they're both on CBS. And then there's one with Days of Our Lives because they're all run by Sony. But really, they're all part of... Because you never know. You'll be on one show one year and you could be on another show the next. You could work all four shows. You could... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an actor, you... Or even if you're not an actor, if you're a writer, if you are a showrunner, if you are a crew member, you're part of this daytime television family. Even if you're a fan, like myself. You know, you're a part of this daytime television family, and I really think that people need to embrace that, and we need to come together. I mean, that's the whole purpose of me doing this show. It isn't because I like to see myself on YouTube, or it's because I want to be famous, or anything like that. I'm doing this because I would like to see us as fans get together and rally behind our product, especially, you know, every single year the shows are in danger of cancellation. And the the bottom two are Days of Our Lives and General Hospital. Those two are the ones that are at the very bottom of the ratings heap. So those are the... And don't get me started on the ratings because I think the ratings are ridiculous just because they don't count for all the ways that we watch TV and it's really annoying. So it, whatever. I'm sorry. God, I'm just so... I'm schwitzing. I feel like Andy Cohen on those first two seasons of Watch What Happens Live. Okay. So, oh my god, like, it's a lot. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to trying to keep my face relatively um, dry. It's not easy. Okay, so on Days of Our Lives this week, having said that, so this was like, I don't know, this was the first or second full week that Ron Carlovati was in charge. And honestly, this was, this week was a lot of cleanup of old storylines. There wasn't that much going on this week that was new. Um, except I did love, I did love the scenes between Hattie and Marlena and Angelica. Now, I think, I, I still don't see Angelica's purpose yet. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me just yet. And that could be something that the previous writing regime had in, uh, a plan for. And now that Ron Carlovardi's in charge, he's like, oh, I don't know what to fucking do with this shit. You know, right? Um... But I like I, I I like the where it's going for now. I do enjoy it. I love. I mean, don't get me wrong. I prefer Andrea Hall as Hattie, but I love Deidre Hall as Hattie too. And I can tell she's having a lot of fun playing Hattie. It, it's got to be fun for her to play the opposite of her stuffy Marlena. I'm sorry. I really. I'm just. I'm just not a Marlena fan. I really am not. Like, way back in the 90s, when Marlena was going up against Kristen, and Kristen, I loved, I loved Kristen back then, you know, not this time, Marlena. That, that, if you know me, you know I say that all the time, because I've, I've said that for like 20 years. That's like my big joke. It's like, not this time, Marlena. <laughs> I'm doing my best, Eileen Davidson. That's not my best. My best one is my Susan impression, but... Davino, Christian, 
just mean, mean, mean. And I love it. I fucking love it. She's so good. I really hope they bring her back as Susan. I really hope so. She's so good as Susan. Uh, I mean, she's good as Kristen, too, but I really enjoy her as Susan. She and the, here's here's what is missing. And this is from the genre as a whole. Not just Days of Our Lives, because I don't want Days to feel like I'm singling them out, because I'm not, because this is actually what's missing from daytime in general. First of all, this notion that, you know, you can't write for a happy couple. I will agree that it is more difficult to write for a happy couple, especially in today's budget conscious age, you know, where every single show is trying to scrimp and save, you know, there was a great debate this morning. I know I, I know I'm talking about General Hospital. I'm not gonna I'm not going to go too too much into it, but there was a great debate this morning at Nancy Lee Gron who plays um Alexis and she was on Santa Barbara for a good amount of time as well. But the, the there was a good debate about whether they should whether General Hospital should adopt the days of our lives standard of shooting six months in advance. Some it was it was actually pretty split. Some people were very yeah they should because then the writers can do what they want and the people won't care because it you know they won't see it until for another six months. But then there are other people that were like hell no that is not what they should do because of that reason. So I. I personally, myself, I'm of that, um, I'm of the second camp. I definitely don't think it's a good idea. And I would like to see Days not do that. But, you know, everyone is having their budgets cut left and right because I guess they feel like the soaps don't bring in enough revenue, which is fucking ridiculous. Especially, listen, here's another thing that I don't understand either. Okay, so if I'm DVRing the show, because I'm thinking, I'm putting on my business hat, and I'm thinking of a network, like a network executive, right? So if I'm thinking of a network executive, and I'm looking at the shows that are on the air now, and let's say, let's say I'm a, a days of, uh, let's say I'm an NBC network executive, right? So if someone out there decides to DVR the show. They can skip through all of the commercials. And, and then what is the point of selling commercials? Now, the reality of that is that that can happen at any time. That is not just in daytime. However, the vast majority of Americans, not all of them, because I was one of them for a while, but not anymore. But the vast majority of Americans um, work in the daytime. You know, they don't have, I mean, they might like... For example, myself, I'm I have tw I'm usually off from twelve to one for lunch, right? So uh, that gives me enough time to watch Bold and Beautiful because it's on from twelve thirty to one. But both General Hospital and Days of Our Lives are on at one o'clock, so I have to watch those at some other time, you know. And and with the rise of networks like Hulu and Netflix and Amazon, that has really given way to a lot of the binge watching that people are doing now. So if I don't watch Days of Our Lives for a week, but I watch it all, all five episodes on Sunday, that should still fucking count for something, you know? So th the whole rating system needs to go. It needs to go. Because it's ridiculous. It really is. It's, it's, because, you know what? When, and I'm not saying if, I'm saying when, because it will happen. When one of those networks, whether it's Amazon or Hulu or Netflix or maybe some new service, they will start their own soap opera. And because and people will and, and they will keep that into account. And that is that's people will jump ship. And that is unfortunate. Because then why would you tune into anything? First of all, a lot of people aren't tuning into anything any of the networks have anytime. But why would you tune into anything that the networks have if you if everything you need is on some streaming service and you you know what I'm saying? So it's it I and I get it's a tricky place for a showrunner to be in, a head writer to be in. It's it's difficult. But so that's but anyways, you can still I'm sorry, that was a long tangent. I didn't mean to go off on that tangent. But you can still write things for happy couples to do. I definitely think that. Because it's that's a little bit ridiculous to say that that can't happen. Um, anyways, 
I've totally gone over my time for today. I'm sorry, but that was that was really the only thing that happened was Hattie and and uh, everything else was just you know Abby Abigail still in her coma. She well actually she opened her eyes at the end of Friday's episode. That was the tag of Friday's episode was Abby opening her eyes. Um, you know nothing really. I mean, it, it mm, nothing. I would like to see more Kate personally. I would like to see Kate do more because you know. I know she can. I've seen her be front burner many, many years, so I'd like to see that. Um, there just needs to be... I mean, I know that Angelica is sort of filling the female villain role, but Kate does it better. I mean, no offense to Morgan Fairchild. You know I love me some Morgan Fairchild. I just think that... I just don't think it's that great of a fit because I don't think that Angelica really fits on today's landscape. But that's just me. Anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can hashtag days to talk days of our lives, or you can hashtag YR to talk Young and the Restless, because I'm doing that one next. Um, and you can also hit that subscribe button on my YouTube page to get my YouTube videos sent to your inbox every single day. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for logging on. I do appreciate it. You have a great night and I'm going to turn the fan on now because it is hot as hell in here and I am just, I'm, I'm a puddle. Okay. Have a nice day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.